So anyway, uh, speaking of like l- growing up in Sydney, Nova Scotia, then not only is it Halloween, but th- this then this video showed up almost immediately after on my For You page about like a Halloween costume party in Nova Scotia. And the uh, same city. Well, I think they said North Sydney, if I remember correctly, which is like, you know, not far from Sydney where I'm from and where Frankie McDonald's from. But there was a nice little fucking Halloween costume party that happened. And uh, well, let's just see what happened. A Nova Scotia fire department is in hot water after four guests were seen wearing KKK costumes at a firefighters club Halloween party. So the North Sydney Firefighters Club is being called out for allowing several attendees to appear dressed as members of the KKK. The deputy fire chief apologized on Facebook, expressing disappointment in the actions of those involved and asking for community forgiveness. He said in part, I can honestly tell you that the situation at the North Sydney Firefighters Club is not who we are or what we stand for. He went on to say, also a sincere promise to do better in the future. Now, this Nova Scotia counselor is giving her take on the fire department's apology. To deem an entire organization as racist and to pull them through the mud when they do so much for everyone. They made a mistake. They said they were sorry. What more do you want? Meanwhile, Agreed. others aren't letting this slide. This community advocate, Quantrell Provo, posted on Facebook saying, simply no words. The fact that this was at an event and no one kicked these individuals out, felt uncomfortable or spoke up until after the Pussy. fact speaks volumes. Pussy. Now, people online are reacting. One user said, said i see ghost costumes and this user said it's a halloween costume who cares exactly Meanwhile, this person said absolutely disgusting an apology isn't enough well now, what else do you want suggesting educational initiatives and more accountability for actions that affect marginalized groups work from that apology but the apology has to be bigger than why that. you know you have why to- for one, with the apology as acknowledging that something's wrong, but then we need to move into education. So nah. Squad, what's your reaction to nah. this? And do you think the fire department's apology is enough? Yeah, I don't even think they needed to apologize, to be honest. And you might be saying, well, why not? It's racist, 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 it's, ra- it's not, though. It's not racist. It really isn't. When you think about it, it's not. They're just dressing up as clan members. They're not out there fucking murdering black people and burning crosses and fucking spreading hate. It's just like the Tony Hinchcliffe situation. We're bringing it back. They're having fun. They're goofing around. All right. If there was no cameras there, they would have just had this night. They would have joked around. The night would have been over. The party would have been over and everyone would have moved on and no one else would have even known about it. They're not spreading hate. They're not spreading hate and they have no intention to. They're they're having fun. They're goofing around. I'm going to dress up as a KKK member. That's funny. That's fun. <laughs> right? The this video that's focus putting all the attention on the firefighters who dressed up as this is actually uh what's the word they're blo- they're 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 actually making it worse by doing this because they're they're spreading more awareness of it they're turning it into a thing that it isn't it's not racist but they're saying it's racist and they're and they're bringing all this attention to it like look at what these guys did it's so racist it's so bad they they apologize but it's not enough they got to do more we need to educate people on how this is wrong and blah 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 just stop talking about it how about that how about just stop talking about it how about stop acknowledging it how about stop pretending that it's this thing that it's that it's bigger than what it actually is it's not dude so what? So what? They put a white sheet on and cut some eye holes in with a pointy hood. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? Okay? Who gives a fuck? They're not actual KKK members. They're not racist. They have no intention of doing that. Let them have fun. Let them fuck around. Seriously, let them fuck around. If we, if all those people in that video that disagreed with this, 
you know, actually went to this party and laughed and joked around with the KKK members. <laughs> Sorry. With the people dressed up as the KKK. We, they all would have had a good time. Everyone would have got along. They all would have laughed with each other. You know, they would. those guys would have came in dressed as KKK. And he would have been like, oh my God, that's insane. And he'd be like, yeah, it's funny, huh? You know, and the night would be over and everyone would move on. That's what would have happened. And that's what should happen. There's no reason. I Like I said, I don't even think they need to apologize. There's no reason to. It's just having fun, dude. It's just having a little fucking goofy time. But whatever. That's my hometown, I guess. We're all just a bunch of racies. Watch this full episode of the Dynamite Gizmo podcast by clicking the link in bio.